So my next question is going to be, when I add one pound of Cal Hypo into a 10,000 gallon pool, how many PPMs of my calcium hardness is going up? Okay. So for every pound that you're using, you're going to add about six parts per million of calcium. So you met, you mentioned, you know, coming out of tap water in Texas, you can see anywhere from 30 to 70 parts per million. So you're probably going to do a, a, a an addition of uh, calcium chloride to bring your, uh, you know, your water up to a, a reasonable amount yeah. so that uh, you're not, you don't have aggressive water to start with. Um, but as you are using Cal Hypo and you're using, you know, a pound of, uh, of uh, granular cal hypo to shock a pool or with the tabs where in this instance with our residential version the tabs are nine ounces so they're a little bit more than a half a pound um, if you're using two, two tabs a week uh, maybe in the beginning of the peak season uh, before it really starts to get hot and you have a higher bather load and more demand for chlorine um, you know, where you might be using three to four tabs a week but in most instances where you're using two tabs a week that's 18 ounces of product so you're probably going to have between six, seven, eight parts per million of addition per two tabs of the uh, of the uh, Cal Hypo tabs. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you think about that in uh, relation to, let's say, in uh, you know most of the Sun Belt where we don't really have an off season, but obviously we have cooler temperatures, uh, less usage over 52 weeks in a year. If you're using a pound uh, to a pound and a half of these tabs. Uh, and you're you're talking six to eight parts per million over 52 weeks out of the year, you're adding between 350, 400 parts per million a year. Um, whereas uh, on the flip side of the coin with trichlor or dichlor, you're adding about six parts per million of cyanuric acid per pound of trichlor or dichlor. And we know at the high range, you know, uh, 100 parts per million of cyanuric acid, and we're talking a pound of trichlor and a pound of dichlor a week uh, just to be safe. So with two pounds, uh, you know, with the dichlor and the trichlor combination, that's 12 parts per million per week. And in eight weeks uh, times 12, you're getting to 96 parts per million of cyanuric acid. So over a two month period, you're going to get to that level if you start out at zero. So you've got, uh, you know, fresh fill and you got zero uh, cyanuric acid. You're not adding any to start with and you're just running your pools at uh, with the trichlor and dichlor combo. After eight weeks, you're going to be to that point where you're, you've reached the high end and you've got to start thinking about, well, do I just keep going on with it? Or do I start thinking about, you know, partial drain and refill to bring it back down? Or do I just live with those high uh, cyanuric acid levels and know that I'm going to have to throw more chemicals at the pool to keep, uh, you know, residual in the water and, uh, fight off algae, um, when you start to get this, you know, that, uh, lessening of chlorine being able to do what it does. So, yeah. yeah. And for, for you guys that are watching the Instagram live, uh, if you go back to our last podcast, we kind of got into detail about CYA and really kind of talked about how much it is that you need. And we also talked about it in one of our other Instagram lives. So, so listen to it. Listen to the amount of chlorine that you need to be able to shock a pool and treat it for algae once you're only at 100 parts per million. So listen to Bob Lowry and listen to him talk about that. It was actually pretty, pretty surprising. So 